Okay, on this project, we are going to fix a leaking shower uh, valve that you see there on the right. And um, we're going to start by uh, taking the outside of it off, first unscrewing. This is a delta valve, uh, unscrewing the little handle there. And then there's a little um, hex nut in there that you loosen just slightly, and then the front's going to pull right off. Now what you're looking at uh, is a little cover that's over, over the valve itself. And so there you have the valve, and then you have the collar that holds the valve onto the, uh, the fitting. And then the outside cover, which is held on by two screws. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And on a prior video, I, I did not replace the valve. I replaced the springs and seats in the valve. And uh, you might want to look at that video because uh, spree seats and springs are very cheap, a couple bucks. But replacing this entire valve like I'm doing in this video, that valve right now on Amazon is $65. So uh, if you can do the seats and springs and fix the problem, you're going to be able to do it for a lot less. And there, there, there's no need to replace the entire valve. But unfortunately, uh, this valve here, I'm not sure I got a genuine one when I bought it. And uh, within two years, it was going bad. I did replace the seats and springs on it, and it still didn't fix the problem. So this one has to go. And that's what we're going to do on this video is show you a real quick, easy replacement of this, of this va uh, valve. Okay, sometimes you have to use a little uh, utility knife to cut the caulk around the uh, outside fitting there, the outside cover to get it off. You just see a little caulk there to keep the water out. So now what I'm doing is there's two shutoff valves right next to this. And you have to turn them all the way into the right to shut the water off. You have to shut the water off to this fitting before you can work on it. Now you can also shut the water off at the main line if you prefer. Um, I prefer to shut them off here because if there's a problem here, if I got to go get another part, whatever, I don't have to have all the water to the house shut off. So I prefer to shut them off at the fitting itself, and that way I can work and not, uh, not worry about the rest of the house being off and people getting a little angry at me. So right now I'm testing to make sure the water's off. There's no water coming out, so I've got both hot and cold shut off. Now I'm going to release the collar <clears throat> that holds the, uh, the valve on there. And then I'm going to wiggle this out. I'll wiggle it up and down. Try not to twist it left and right because that could force the valve to come in two. It, it's actually a two-part valve. Uh, it could be a little hard. You might have to get a little something soft behind it there to just uh, push it out a little bit. But I, I got a little tool here, uh, something that you open paint cans with, just a little bit, you know, to pull it out because it is in there with, uh, with the um, rubber uh, seals, and it can be a little bit tough to get out. So that's the valve right there. You see it does come apart. You can watch my other video on this uh, when I change the uh, seats and springs. Okay, now here's the new valve we're going to install. I marked the H on there. It's very important when you put the new one in. They have markings on them. The hot goes to one side. The cold goes to the other side. And it's important you put them in in the right way. So that hot has to go to the left. Because when, the, when it's turned all the way to the left, when it's open, that's hot water. So read the markings on the side of the valve make sure you put it in the correct manner so your waters are not reversed hot and cold when you get it all done so it goes in really easy and then uh, i just hand tighten the collar on there i don't even use a a wrench or anything just nice hand tighten to hold it in there seems to work fine and then um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the um, knob on and now I'm going to open the valves back up to open the water and we're going to test it. It's very important when you open your valves back up, your shutoff valves, that you open up all the way. Make sure you open them up all the way otherwise you could have an issue and uh, not enough water pressure, things like that if you don't open them up all the way. OK, 
okay, now what I'm doing is I'm using a bucket. I'm turning the water on all the way. I'm going to make sure I get hot water. I'm going to make sure I get cold water, make sure it's functioning correctly. And then I'm going to turn it off, and then I'm going to wait a few minutes to make sure there's no leaks. Everything looks good. It's working. And then I'm going to um, take off the old caulk for the outside piece because we want a nice smooth fit again when we put the, the piece back in. So I'm going to just uh, using a little, a little uh, straight edged uh, blade here. I'm just going to scrape that off. Okay, and then uh, when that's done, I'm going to put the outside piece back on. This is a delta. It's held together with two screws. Um, sometimes it's a little bit tricky finding the holes behind it uh, when you're putting these uh, screws back in. So uh, just take your time. It takes a little uh, hide and seek trying to find where it's at. But um, eventually I did get it. I saved you looking at all that time. And then it just tightens right back in with two screws. And then we're gonna put the knob back in and the handle on the knob. And um, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna caulk around this outer uh, cover so none of the water uh, that drips down from the shower can get into it and keep it looking nice, nice and good. So this is a fairly easy repair. It's uh, definitely under an hour and um, it fixes the problem. Uh, my shower is working fine now, and so um, I'm hoping uh, it'll do the same for you. And one of the last things we have to do is using that hex nut to tighten the knob back in there. Nice, just so it's firm. Don't, don't go too crazy with over tightening. And then we put the handle back on, and we're all done. So I hope this uh, helps you fix your problem. Uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to this channel. Please hit the like button if you like this video. And uh, I thank you for uh, spending a little time with me today. Hopefully this uh, will help you uh, whenever you have to repair your leaking shower. Until next time, take care. See you on the next video.